Welcome to Rod's World, Rod's World, Rod's World! Guys, I don't know what's happening, but a bunch of people are like running to McDonald's. You think it would be the other way around? Running away from McDonald's? No, they're like running full speed there. It's crazy! Oh my god, guys, those guys are crazy! I don't even understand what their issue is. Can you hear them? Wow, people need to take a chill pill. I don't get it. I... People are crazy! People be crazy, yo. Those people are definitely crazy. I don't understand what their issue is. But oh my god, there's like 12 of them that are like surrounding me. They're trying to hey, fight me. Nice See? Right there they are right there. So. Wow. You know, it sucks when you literally have nothing to live for and you only get your pleasure out of making fun of other people. Now, I really wish society was a better place than that, but still, we have so much to go for. We still have so much to come through. One day we will. One day, the world would be great. But until people like that, like, grow up, we won't have it. Wow, guys, I'm still shaking. That was crazy. They were trying to, like, fight me, and I don't know why. I was in there getting my order, and they were like, well, dude, your order's not ready yet. And I'm like, well, there's a bag sitting right there. They're like, well, it's not ready yet. And I'm like, well, how, it, it could be that bag. They're like, well, is it in your hands? And I'm like, well, no, but it could be ready. Like, it doesn't have to be in my hands to be ready. He's like, well, how are you supposed to eat it? I'm like, I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to deliver it. And he's like, deliver it? Why don't you get a real job? What, you work for Uber? And I was like, okay, calm down. <laughs> like, calm down. And then all his friends start like clucking and like they all surrounded me and I and I got my bag and I was trying to tr I turned around to walk out and they literally formed this line I couldn't get out and so I ex I, I found there was a gap and started walking through the gap and then the one guy actually stepped into it I ended up walking through him accidentally and I didn't mean to do that but you know I walk through people <laughs> And like, oh my goodness, like, and then all of a sudden he just like follows me out to the parking lot and he's like, oh, well, you're gonna touch me? You're gonna touch me? I'm 16 year old boy. Okay, I'm not gonna fight you. I mean, if you start swinging at me, I will defend myself. Like, I don't understand. And like, they're like, you know, telling me to get a real job. They're like, oh, what, you deliver Uber for a dollar a day or whatever? At that point, I put the bag in my car and I turn around and I walk up to him and I'm like, you done? All his friends come out and all, like, you know, he spits on the ground and, you know, he puts his shoulders up kind of thing. He's like, what are you going to do, fatty? I'm just standing there looking at him. He's like, come on, fatty. Come on. What you going to do? And I'm like, I'm going to stand here. Like, well, shouldn't you deliver your food? Don't you have to go deliver your food? Make your $3 for the day? I was like, no. There was a parent of a girl that was in there and he actually pushed everybody aside. He got the kids separate, separated from me and I don't really know how, but he did. And then he came and talked to me. He's like, dude. It's not really worth defending yourself. He's like, I get it. I get it. At the end of the day, they're 16 and I think they're drunk and they just came from some kind of dance thing. You know, they're feeling all high and mighty. So just let them feel high and mighty. But I'm like, I need to defend my honor and, you know, make them to start to realize that, huh, maybe they're in the wrong. And guess what, guys? I just got an Uber order and I accepted it. And guess where it's for? That exact McDonald's. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Drive through, I guess. Oh, that's what it is. So I, I went through the drive-thru and I talked to the lady and she's like, I, I even said, you know, sorry if I caused any kind of scene or anything like that. And I'm like, that's why I'm coming through the drive-thru right now. Oh, obviously it didn't start it. And I was just trying to figure out what was going on. And she's like, no, no, it's cool. I'm like, that's why I'm coming through the drive-thru. And actually a couple of the guys came out at like, my car was right in front of them. And I was like, oh God, what's gonna happen now? I'm like, I'm waiting for them to touch my car. And I feel like they would damage my car. So I found out what's happening. There was a high school dance. That's what it was. So of course they're all full of like testosterone and y'all, you know, I'm hot stuff. You know, come on bro, come on. So that explains it. They're trying to start a fight now because you know, they got all the women, they were dancing with the women folk. And now, you know, we can prove who's boss. We can prove who's the top dog. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're not gonna win against me. Even though the one had like the teardrop tattoo, I was just trying to get out of there, but I didn't want to like leave right away because I didn't want them to see me in my car to know which car was mine. You know, they're all like full of, you know, cockiness and you know, testosterone. All the brain cells died away to make room for the testosterone. Gotta love being a teenager. <sighs> I just talked to the employee that brought out the food for me and I'm like, I'm so sorry if I caused any scenes or anything like that. He's like, no, dude, there's so many drunk people in there and high and they're all freaking 16. But at the same time, when I drank, I had manners. I don't know if I have manners now, but I had somewhat manners. It was guys, got to go, got to deliver. We deliver on time. Hit the like button and subscribe.